Hi there YouTube, I just wanted to sort of do a little quick little dreadlock update and just show you what they look like after the first shower. Um, one, they are laying down much better. Two, the ends are just coming to pieces. This is something that I've dealt with before. That one, this one. Um, there's like all of these down here. You can kind of see the way the ends are coming apart. Um, but I do appreciate that they are laying down better and that my scalp doesn't hurt. That's actually really nice. I kind of feel like I have my hair back, <laughs> like <laughs> my head back. Um, the only thing I've done is blow dried them and sprayed them with um, some Dolly Locks Coconut Lime Dreadlock Tightening Spray. They have this in a lot of flavors. I prefer this to um, the Dreadhead um, Dreadlock Accelerator because this smells nice and it has essential oils in it and stuff. And I actually think this works a lot better because you're not the one di like diluting it, and which you know you could easily do wrong, and then you've wasted twelve bucks or something. Um, so yeah, and the ingredients are a lot nicer in this. Um, but yeah, so I just kind of wanted to give you guys an update. Today is. April 16th and I'm filming this. It won't be April 16th when I post it, but I want to say that for my own benefit. So then my dreads are three days old officially and they're getting, they got their first shower. So, um, yeah, I am all of the, I did a little bit of root of like rubbing with at the roots before I showered and now that was pointless. Like any, ma any maintenance you try to do right before a shower is just going to be ruined. It's better to do it after. Um, clean hair does lock up better than dirty hair, but the actual showering process can undo some things at first because water obviously unlocks things. Um, but yeah, this is how the babies are doing. I think there's one in here that's especially funky. Is it this one? No. There, where are you? Now I see now I'm like losing dreads already. I think it might have been. There's one that's like, okay, well that one's kind of funny. There's one that's like coming apart in a couple of pl Oh, it's this one. This one has done one of these. It's done the split. That'll be fun. I think I'm just going to back comb. I think for a lot of the ends that are really long, like things that are like one piece of hair, I'll try to crochet through. But things that are really long, like this one, I'm just going to back comb um, to make a new end. And then, what have you, I have some longer dreads. That's nice because some of these are really short up here. Um, yeah, anyway, um, thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, also, just so you know, I actually, the shampoo that I used was the Dreadhead, was the Dreadhead Dread Soap shampoo. Um, I think there are other ones that have better ingredients, but I had a bottle of that left from the last time I had dreads, like two years ago. <laughs> so yeah, I just decided to you to start u using that up before I switched to something a little bit probably either like a Naughty Boy or a Dolly Lock soap that has nicer ingredients. Um, yeah, I hope this helped. Uh, thank you for watching this and therefore being a part of my dreadlock journey, and I will talk to you soon.